on BBC Radio Stoke. Now, if you've got a problem with your local council, what do you do about it? Talk to your local councillor, write a letter of complaint, maybe just do nothing and moan to your neighbours about it. Well, one man from Stoke-on-Trent's got so fed up with the way he says he was being treated by the council, he's decided to set up a website called Smoke on Trent. David Knowles joins us on BBC Radio Stoke this morning. David, your website claims to be firing the debate for real democracy in Stoke-on-Trent. What's wrong with what we've got at the moment, then? Uh, I don't think the council are listening, to be uh, quite honest. Um, it's difficult to um, get your views across to senior people. Um, I've tried to engage with my local councillors, but nothing seems to happen. Um, my personal experience is that it's very hard to get things done in this city. Your website was born of frustration, wasn't it? What was it that you wanted the city council to do and were getting nowhere with? Well, I think so. a number of issues uh, over the years I've had um, problems with the council about, uh, ranging from uh, antisocial behaviour to planning issues, um, noise issues, um, uh, the old Victoria ground, that, that's been um, a derelict for a number of years now and, and nothing seems to move on. Um, so a number of issues have kind of um, uh, rolled up together and uh, you know, it's got completely fed up so we started the website. And so, I mean, you've got uh, what you describe as the Smoke on Trent Charter for Change. And you go on to say, uh, and I quote this, expect some of it to be translated into action by our elected mayor who's run out of steam and is looking for new ideas. Is this just another mayor-knocking site? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I think there's, there's real concern in the city about the way it's been run. Um, I'm getting around 4,000 people hitting the site every month. That's confirmation that people are fed up with the way politics um, are being operated. If you're so worried about it, why don't you stand for council? Why don't you become a councillor? Well, I'm not ruling it out for the future. OK. Uh, will it make a difference? Do you think using the internet in this way will make the council listen? Definitely, yeah. The council are already listening. Um, I used to send emails to uh, senior people at the council and I either get ignored or I get a response from uh, PAs. Uh, PAs seem to have a lot of control in this city. Um, and um, uh, nothing was happening. Now I'm getting responses from Steve Robinson, Dan Barton uh, and other councillors. That's the council uh, manager and the head of press that's right, communications. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're suddenly they're, they're, they're interested in me and um, all because of a website. So in your view, if anyone wants the city council to pay attention, they should set up a website. Right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Seems a bit extreme, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Listening to all this is uh, Councillor Roger Ibbs, who looks after economic development. And um, what do you make of this site? Uh, well, it's obviously interesting. I think uh, anybody who's got a point of view to express, particularly uh, if it's reasonably based, is um, is worth listening to. Uh, a bit disappointed. Uh, I don't think you've ever contacted me or tried to contact me. Um, then again, perhaps I'm not seen enough to uh, to be contacted. I don't know where do you, whereabouts do you live? Uh, Stoke, in Stoke itself. Mm -hmm. Well, in Stoke, I would have thought somebody like Paul Billington, not a member of my party, would have. Uh, I, I can hardly believe he wouldn't have uh, spoken to you. Have, have you tried contacting? We've tried Paul Billington. He doesn't respond to emails. Get off! I, I, well, it's true. Well. It, you say that, I can't believe it. I know Paul's a very assiduous councillor. Well, he chooses not to respond to particular emails in that case. Uh, I haven't seen your emails. If um, if some of the things that you're doing, uh, such as the, one of the latest ones is we shouldn't be spending any money on informing people about how to change the system of governance in Stoke, you, you seem to be uh, uh, against what we're doing in Stoke uh, politically. Um, here we are going through a process where we're going to change that. And um, you knock us for wanting to spend money on publicity. No, uh, it's not knocking you for spending money. It's it's the type of uh, it's the type of things you're spending money on, like uh, plastic bags for markets at one thousand two hundred pounds a shot, um, four hundred pounds to print the campaign on council pay slips. So you don't want us to try and inform people in a different way? Isn't isn't using the internet a modern way of doing it? Do you not try and get messages across, information across, using all sorts of different uh, uh, different media? Is what we're we supposed to do? Just uh, pass it by word of mouth and uh, and hope that nobody turns up so that we can get about. I, I just think it's bizarre that recently uh, you tried to close Dimension Splash Pool uh, to make savings, and I spent 120,000 pounds on um, consulting with the public about a change in. And local governments, um, 
Which but isn't that being forced on the council? I would have thought you've got to inform people on, on change, haven't you? I mean, well, that's, that's your job, isn't it? People like Mr Knowles here obviously don't know what the law says. The law says we have to inform people. <clears throat> we have no choice. We'd be taken to court if we didn't do it. The law doesn't say you have to spend £120,000. Well, I'll tell you what then. How much should we spend? Let me ask you. Well, um, without without calculating um, the various costs and and, the, uh, and communicating, no, you tend have to have to calculate the costs. Right. Okay. I'm going to interrupt now because I want to put some some of the issues that we've raised here to, to you both. Uh, Councillor Roger Ibbs, I mean, what does it say about the City Council that, that there's not just one website, but there's at least two that we've mentioned this morning that are focusing on the way that Stoke on Trent is run and, and have issues with the way it's run? Is that a good thing or not? Uh, of course, it's good. I'd, <coughs> I'd hope they would. A dozen websites, uh, anything's good for publicity uh, for Stoke on Trent. The difficulty is making sure that you don't try and bring your own personal issues. You have personal problems with planning issues, so you want to knock the council cause, because you haven't got your own way, obviously. Now, you're quite entitled to do that, but to, to try and ridicule the council because of some, you have some personal issues with the council, I think, is not necessarily the way to do it. People want to poke fun at the council, absolutely great. There's nothing wrong with uh, a bit of satire on the council. But I don't think uh, we take ourselves that seriously that we can't be um, uh, commented on. But I think uh, it seems quite obvious you have some personal issues and um, you want to take it out to the council. That's fine. You go ahead and do it. My personal experience is a representative of um, the services in general, to be quite honest. Well, um, let's put it this way. You get 4,000 hits a month. We get about half a million on the council. Well... I mean, you, the council website's been long for a long time, been around for a long time, so you would expect that. Well, let, let's take an example. Hang on, no, 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 I just want to interrupt here. What do you hope for your website, Smoke on Trent, to achieve? What, what would, how would you say it's been successful? It's already, it's already been successful in the fact that the council are actually um, started to take on board the seriousness of the website. So the fact that we're sitting here now in the studio is a recognition that the council are taking the website seriously. You don't think I'm happy to be here at just before <laughs> 8 o'clock <laughs> talking drivel to you. Um, in, in reality, uh, well, every, I, per, every person should be able to um, comment on the council. I have absolutely no problem with that. My only problem is when you're doing it because of your personal things. And if you want to be political, Stuart actually said, stick yourself up for council. Get elected. And then you'll find out how easy it is to do some of these things that you want changing. We'll wait for the next election to see if that happens. Councillor Roger Ips, thanks very much for joining us this morning. And uh, also thanks to David Knowles for Thank coming you. in from uh, the website that David set up, smokeontrent.co.uk. If uh, you want to get in touch about what you've heard, 01782 208 is my number, or you can text me 07786 202 946. Other things we've been talking about this morning, 